The exhibition is called L'Oeil Senois. So after uh, Franz Fanon theatre play, Franz Fanon was this uh, psychiatrist uh, from the French West Indies who was uh, in, involved in the decolonization in Nigeria. He wrote several theatre plays who were all unpublished. This idea of uh, unrealized works or invisible works or works that were never finished but that are somehow given a material form in the, in the way in which we reorganize documents related to their production it ties a lot of the works in the, in the show together. And there was also this idea in the L'Oeil Sonois, the eye drowns, about the possibilities or impossibility of representation. And that's one of the logics of free associations that led Mathieu and I to put these works together in this particular order. The show is built around this big wall that splits the space. For me, I see it like a way to, to go with this idea of L'Oeil Sonois and this impossibility to embrace everything. There's several works in the show that are based on, on either unfinished works or works that are disappeared. And so Mathieu's work with Saham and Doral, for example, is one of the things that, is, that anchors the show. So I think there's several connections in between the, the invisible film of Saham and Doral and then some of the other works that could be, in my case, about um, hiding a poem by Paul Verlaine inside the pages of the Wall Street Journal and sort of hinting at a narrative um, that is imaginary but that is real because it is anchored in, in these uh, newspaper documents or playing with narrative nuclei for screenplays to which, for which I associate found Japanese film stills and then I give all this to a film critic and together we construct uh, an imaginary critique of films that Antonioni never made um, but by constructing sort of a, a critical discourse and having these sort of Japanese documents in hand, suddenly these stories start existing in a more, um, in a way that we can imagine them. And it's, it sort of echoes this idea that the most beautiful films are the ones that we haven't seen, but that we sort of project in the screens of our own minds. In a way, you could say that the, the, there's, this, there's this sort of thread between several different works in the show, um, about what the impossibility of knowing what is in the missing object or the missing film. And so, in a way, we are research-based artists who are searching for subterfuges to present um, some kind of, sort of post-conceptual representation of, uh, of a missing story or of a missing political um, outcome and giving it a form.